Hey, Dirt Farmer Jay here from DirtFarmerJay.com. I didn't know there was such a thing as an iceless cooler. Wow, are they, pardon the pun, cool. Let me tell you all about it. Hey, Dirt Farmer Jay from DirtFarmerJay.com. We didn't know until recently there was such a thing as an iceless cooler. We do a fair amount of road trips and we always like to pack a cooler with beverages, cheese, you know, veggies, uh, sandwich uh, meat and all those sort of things. And using ice and ice packs is a real mess. Well, not anymore. We bought Coolatron's 12 volt cooler slash, get this, warmer. Depending on what mode you put it in, you can also keep warm foods warm for several hours. In the brief time we have together, I'm gonna to cover three different things. Number one, I'm gonna tell you about this. We're gonna do a brief product review. Number two, I'm gonna tell you about a great accessory you've gotta have with this. And number three, for you geeks out there, I'm gonna tell you a little bit about the science of what does the magic in this called thermoelectrics. Well, let's get started. All right, let's just take a look at Coolatron's product. There's other ones on the market that are thermal electrics, but we're gonna review this Coolatron product. Let's take a look. All right, this is Coolatron's Cool Caddy. It's thermoelectric iceless 12 volt cooler slash warmer. And as you can see, you can configure it some different ways inside, uh, either using the rack to separate above and below, or as a divider to keep different items separate from each other. All right, let's check out the performance of this unit in the cooling mode. So the ambient temperature in here is in the mid 60s. And what you should expect from this kind of cooler, it's not a true refrigerator, is to have it settle somewhere around 40 to 42 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, and But let's go ahead and stick this thermometer in there and see where it's chilled down. Now, disclosure, this has been running overnight. The sodas that are in it were taken out of just room temperature, more out in the garage, which is an insulated, and then put in here and run overnight. So let's drop this thermometer in there and we'll come back to it in a few minutes and see where this has landed. Here we go. All right, while we're waiting for that temperature to register, Let's point out a couple other things. When you purchase one of these units, it comes just like this with a plug-in that goes into the typical 12 volt outlet in vehicles. So this comes designed to go into portable applications like an RV, a light truck, your car. And this works really great when you're on a road trip. But let's suppose you want to pre-pack or you want to utilize this for something you're going to go to a picnic or something and you want things to be chilled in advance and you want to do that in the house without wearing down the battery or discharging the battery in your vehicle. At that point, you need to absolutely invest in their power adapter. Now, this adapter runs about $40 and it's specifically to power up this unit with AC power. So you plug that in there, and then, then what you've got is regular house power through this AC adapter being converted to 12 volt direct current. Now, the unit is running right now in cool mode. I bet you can't hear it. I'm actually gonna get close to it and see. It's very, very quiet. And what it's doing is it's, it's cooling a small, let's say about the size of a cube of butter, inside of this unit here down to about 40 degrees until the hole inside here uh, over time will reach about that 40 degrees. We'll come back and check that. Now we mentioned something earlier and that is this can also be put into warming mode. Coolatron suggests that you can run cooling mode as long as you want. It can just do that almost day in and day out. Um, but if you're using warming mode, that it's only done in bursts of two to four hours at a time. Here's how you accomplish that changeover. It's a simple change of polarity or which direction uh, the electric current is flowing through what's called the thermoelectric um, device. 
uh, using what's called the Peltier effect. And we'll get over to that for you super geeks in a few minutes. Notice right here, this arrow, if you put the blue dot next to that arrow, it's in cooling mode. If I unplug this and spin it around so the red dot is by that arrow, it's now in warming mode. It's as simple as that. One of the things I would mention about this um, is this rack right here, which can be done for a divider here or put flat as um, an upper rack. It's a little bit flimsy. I wish that they had made this a little bit more substantial. I think that's something they could beef up. The rest of the components, the fit and finish, looks pretty good. Uh, these straps will eventually fail simply because someone's going to pop that back too much. Uh, but again, this is all about the grade of what you would expect for this level. The magnet is certainly strong enough. I mean, when we do that, it's got a nice grip and it keeps it nice and uh, tight. But that's just um, something I would recommend to our friends at Coolatron. All right, let's go back and check our thermometer. But before we do, if you really like the way that we approach material and you find this video to be helpful, won't you consider subscribing? And when you do, ring the bell so that you'll be notified approximately every Friday of another great episode. Also, check out our website at dirtfarmerj.com and check out our merchandise at forward slash shop. You'll find a great amount of extended material there as well. All right, let's look and see how this little beauty is performing. All right, let's take a look in here. Well, look at that. The temperature in here is 36 and a half degrees Fahrenheit and Celsius. Let's go ahead and for our international and the rest of the world friends, 2.5 degrees Celsius, 2.6, 2.8, because my hand was beside it. So there we go. So now we know that the unit really does cool well. All right, now that we know that it really does work, Let's get into the science. Geek alert, geek alert. We're gonna talk about the Peltier effect and why thermoelectric devices either heat or cool. Here we go. Thermoelectric devices work because of the Peltier effect. If you wanna know more about that, check out the link in the description below. But I'm gonna show you a brief demonstration of how that effect works. When you put two dissimilar metals to each other and flow current through it, you're going to get either heat emitted or cool admitted. So in this case, just for purposes of demonstration, uh, we're gonna use brass here, which is a copper alloy and aluminum. And if we flowed electricity through in one direction, we're gonna have heat generated right here at that junction line. If we reverse the direction of power going through it, it'll generate cold right there. Thermoelectric devices do not produce as much cooling or as heat as compressor-driven devices, like what's used in your home refrigerator or even the cooling system in your car. But they work perfectly for these smaller environments, such as iceless coolers, wine coolers, beverage coolers, and even they found their way into the world of electronics in cooling computer components like the central processing unit. You can check out more detail in the link below and discover all about Peltier, who he was, and how he discovered the effect. You know, another great thing that's important to keep is the tire pressure in your tires. For all the work they do, keeping those tires properly inflated, and you can check out this video right here about the DeWalt portable inflator we use all the time. And check this out also, another video I found in here that YouTube thinks is perfect for you and is really cool. Check it out. Not bad, huh?